So this is a Noctua A12 X25, and I'm sure that if you're watching this video, you know all about this fan because it's got a pretty good reputation for being, you know, good. This is also an A12 X25. It's black, so something's up with it. And the, uh, the reason it's black is because I printed it. I essentially took this fan and I cloned it and then printed it out. And the idea here was I made a video about, about making this fan. And the idea was to understand how much performance is lost by using a material like PLA versus the magic uh, material that Noctua uses. And you would be surprised if you didn't watch that video to know that we didn't actually, I mean, obviously it performed worse than that one, but it didn't perform as bad as I thought it was going to. It was pretty decent. Then after that, I got to wondering why exactly does Noctua use nine blades? Now one would think the more blades you have, the more static, static pressure you can uh, generate and that's better for cooling a radiator, right? Well, yes and no. There's, a, there's actually, I mean, there's a lot that goes into blade design. I've been doing a lot of research on it because the idea with all this messing around with fans is to eventually make a fan design that outperforms Noctua's fan design. Obviously we're gonna be using their frame and motor, but that, that's nor here nor there. We're just gonna try to make a better fan disc. And essentially, yes, you add more fans, you get more, you know, you get more static pressure up to a certain point. Eventually you run into an issue that when one fan stalls out, you get a cascade effect that literally stalls the whole fan disc and then you just got a fan that's spinning and not moving any air. And there's actually a calculation that you can do to approximate how many fans or how many blades a certain fan should have if you take the radius of the hub and the radius of the tips and you kind of do some mental gymnastics. You can figure out how much or how many blades you should have. It gives you an approximation where to start. And, but if you plug in all the numbers for Noctua, you kind of end up with five. And there's obviously more than five. So there's more that goes into that. There's essentially an engineer out there that spends day upon day modeling, designing, simulating, uh, then testing over and over until you get something as good as the A12X25. Now we could do that. We could do all the modeling and simulation, but where's the fun in that? I say we just make something. So this is the same fan. I essentially took this fan and I multiplied the blades to 18. And think of that now, I should have went to 19 or 17 because you always want to be at an odd number. Again, you have to just look into it or trust me on that. There's, there's plenty of reasons why you want to have an odd number of blades. But uh, yeah, I made 18, so that's what we're going to go with. Originally I made, where to go? Originally I made one with 31 blades because I wanted to retest that idea. But when you get a blade this thick and you, you make 31 of them, it literally turns into a disc and um, my printer wasn't good enough to actually make it possible. And, you, and that would definitely, you'd basically stall the whole disc and just end up with a spinning fan of sadness. So we're just gonna go with 18. Should have been 19, but that's nor here nor there. And then we're also gonna see what three do, because why not? Now there's a rule of thumb that says about five to 12 is the sweet spot for cost to performance. But I say, nay, let's, let's go on the opposite end of the spectrum and see how good it works. Now I did take some time between this video and now to balance all these out. Uh, unfortunately, I had to sacrifice another A12X25 to make this device. Essentially, this is a prop balancer that I have for RC planes. But given the hole in the center of this one, I can't get it to work with this. So I had to steal a hub from another fan, but it was for a good cause. So I was able to balance this one, this one, and this one. Not perfect, but better. Especially when you get this many fan blades. I literally put this in the fan and it like hopped off my desk. So we had to do some sort of balancing. So we're gonna do the same testing. We're gonna check the mass of it compared to the stock one. We'll check the CFM and we'll do it this time through an air cooler to kind of straighten up the flow and give us a better reading. And of course we'll do cooling. So both on a radiator and an air cooler because I know not everybody likes water cooling. And actually this fan comes with the A12 or the, what is it, the A12A? And that's the cooler we'll be using. So let's get rolling here. So just like last time, we are again using grams. We'll measure all the fans again because I did balance them. So they're gonna weigh a little more now. So the stock fan, again, 200.6 grams. The clone version, so nine blades on this guy. It now weighs 187.7 grams. Same fan frame, just now with three blades. 175.1 grams. And the 18 blade fan is 205 or 200.5, so that's almost exactly the same as the stock one. We got 0.1 grams difference. Well, it's a 0.2 now, but we're essentially the same given this, the scale is, uh, I don't know how accurate, but that's pretty neat. 
Sticking with tradition, we'll test all the RPMs next. We'll start with the stock fan that is spinning at 2,035 RPMs. So all these fans are the 2,000 PWM version, so should all be within 10% of that. 18 blades are spinning at two, oh, 1,824, 1,830. Three blades are spinning at 2,080. Yeah, right around 2,080 RPM. And we'll retest the nine blade since now it's balanced out a little better. So just to make sure everything is still the same or we'll just make sure everything's getting retested. So nine blades, the clone is spinning at 1,860, we'll just call it 60, 1,860. Now for sound test, we're gonna switch up just a little bit. We're gonna test it on the cooler because having a fin stack behind a fan does make a difference. Stock fan sitting right around seven, oh, 37 for its average. So that's our baseline. We'll see what the uh, clone does. So the clone's at 43.8 now, which I do believe is louder than the last time. So definitely stock one has the advantage in blade design versus the clone. So the three blade is 48.4, which is pretty similar to the nine blade clone. I will say though, the sound pitch is quite different. It's more of like a, a lower pitch drone that you would kind of be used to the sound of like a normal cooling fan in your house. So it is a bit different. I think that that lower pitch hum is a little easier to listen to probably because we've all been conditioned to listen to fans our entire lives, but it's very interesting. So the 18 blade, very similar average. It's 48.4. Sounds a lot different than the three blade, a higher pitch. I will say the perceived loudness of all these, like just listen to them are very similar. I mean, I guess maybe the, the edge goes to the Noxwood just being quieter, but that should be given, given it's uh, a lot better, a lot, well, a lot better made fan. But I don't know, the three blade obviously sounds way different than any of the other ones, but I'll let you listen to all the fans. You guys kind of decide which one you think sounds the best and the worst. And let me know in the comments. So now we're gonna take a crack at reading airspeed through this tower cooler. Uh, starting with the stock fan, we're just gonna measure wind speed through the fin stack with an anemometer. Uh, we'll just put it right up against it so we can keep the distance distances between the different fans identical. If you guys can see it. And we'll see, so stock fan, center of the fin stack right up against it. We're looking at two meters per second for the stock A12X25. Next, of course, is the clone. So this is nine blades, 1.9 meters per second. So we lost 0.1, not too bad. Now for the three blade, 1.8. So we did lose another meter per second. So we're down 0.2 overall. 18 blades, also 1.8. Interesting. So you would kind of think that higher blade density equals more static pressure to get through the fence stack. Not so much. Looks like nine blades doing the best in both the 3D printed one and the stock Noctua fan. So how does that translate to cooling? So just a little recap before we get to cooling things is things aren't really any different than you would kind of expect. The A12X25 stock one is obviously doing the best. The clone isn't too far behind, it's doing halfway decent. The three blade, um, it has a unique sound. We'll say that everything's pretty much right in the same ballpark. Um, then 18 blade is a little whiny, to tell you the truth, like that's a uh, higher pitch. And you, you kind of notice that, that everything is kind of around the same decibel level, at least to, to, compared to my, on my phone app. But this has a very low hum to it, and this is a, a much higher pitch with the, the nine blade being somewhere in the middle, kind of what you would expect. Now it's gonna be the radiator test. We're gonna start with the stock Noctua fan. I just realized this is gonna take quite a bit of time to do all these different configurations. So essentially I've already heat soaked this radiator. It has no fans on it now. I'm going to run 45 minutes of each fan. I to 64, my 7700K at 4.9 gigahertz and we'll see where they all stack up. And then I'm gonna swap it out and run the NH-U12A on there. And again, I probably only need to run about 15, 20 minutes on an air cooler versus a water cooler. So I'll run all those again and we'll come back and kind of talk about how each design did and how we're going to uh, move forward in trying to fine tune a design for 
the major hardware special. Also, I have good news. I talked to Noctua about these fans, and they were like, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, we don't care. Go ahead. Sh give anybody who wants it the model. So I'll be putting this on my Thingiverse account. So if you want to go mess around with the A12 X25 uh, fan design, you can. You can just download it. I'll put the step model, the STL model, um, any SolidWorks models I have. I'll try to put all the stuff I got out there on this fan so you can download it and mess with it to your heart's desire. So that's pretty cool. Noctua, they thought it was a pretty awesome video and had no problem with me sharing the design, which is cool because a lot of you have asked for it. So I'll see you in many hours. Might be actually tomorrow because it's going to take quite a bit of time to run all these tests. So what? So we're back and well, things are kind of as you would predict. So let's first look at the 240 millimeter AIO on the 7700K at 4.9 gigahertz. And unsurprisingly, the actual A12 X25 is doing the best followed by the clone. The nine blade 3D printed fan is in second. And then as we would expect, the high density 18 blade does third, third best, followed by the three blade on the radiator. Now, when we go over to the air cooler, things have changed a little bit. We still have the Noctua A12 X25 out front, followed by the clone. But now the three blade is doing better as it's not having to push so hard against any restriction behind it. And now the the lack of air movement from the 18 blade has dropped into last place. So what does this tell me? Well, it tells me that Noctua knows what they're doing. They made a nine blade fan because they decided that that is the best blade count for that blade design. Now that's not saying that we can't do good with higher blade counts. It just means that we're gonna have to come up with our own blade design to really take advantage of a high density blade count. And I don't know if that means make them thinner, but we're definitely gonna have to tweak the geometry, uh, the profile, do a lot of fiddling about to try to get good performance out of a high blade count fan disc because I don't know about you guys, but I really like how, you know, high blade count fans look when compared to low blade count fans. And I'm, I will say that this also has a bit more noise. I mean, they're, they're both loud, but this three blade design has a lower pitch tone and it's easier to hear kind of rumbling through a case or on the stand than the, the higher pitch um, one of like the higher blade counts, even the Noctua, well, I mean, the obviously the Noctua is quiet and the clone isn't too bad, but definitely the three blade sticks out. So in a nutshell, we're going to have to make up our own design. And like I said, if you guys really want to mess around with the Noctua blade design on the A12X25, more blades, less blades, tweak the geometry, whatever you want, I'll be posting all these models on my Thingiverse account. And if you have an old A12X25 fan that you don't mind, uh, you know, braking, you could get the fan disc off, leave the motor hub in place and just swap your fan blades on, test them out, see how you, you like them. If you come up with anything cool, make sure to let me know. But until next time, we'll see you.